All right, I'm taking this video uh, because I went ahead and I decided to upgrade my rod bolts to uh, some ARP style uh, cracked rod Chevy bolts as shown here. Um, I was a little confused on how to do it. You'd think it'd be pretty straightforward, you know, take the bolts out, put the new ones in. But uh, no, there was a couple of things that were kind of strange doing it. So I figured I'd make a video and uh, try and help anyone else that kind of comes across the same issue. Uh, apologize for the stuffiness. I'm a little sick right now. But uh, first, uh, you can actually see I got the bolts in a few of them already. Um, I know a lot of people are afraid of like distorting the bottom ends. Uh, because there's actually a little bushing that's inside the bottom cap. So if I go ahead and uh, I'll go ahead and take this one off. As you can see, I have all my caps marked for direction and uh, the number as well. If you're going to be taking your pistons out like I am, um, I had a spun bearing, so I had to get a bunch of stuff done. So just keep that in mind. Uh, all right. So here's what happens. You go ahead, you unscrew these, and you take it off. And as you can see, the bolts actually don't come out all the way on their own. They kind of get hung up. Well, it's because there's this little metal bushing in here. I don't know if you can see. There, get it focused a little bit. There you go. See there's that little outline in there you can see. There's a bushing in there. Well, I was afraid that it'd have to be pressed out or something or you know, I'd, I'd have to do something pretty uh, intense to get that out. Um, because if you go ahead and do something kind of hard with the caps, you may distort them, I've heard, and all kinds of other stuff causing alignment issues. Well, I got a pretty easy way to go ahead and do this. What I do is I take a uh, 7 16th wrench, it's a ratcheting one, and what you do is you pull the bolt all the way back and you twist it to where it gets caught up in the bushing. So right, right now I can go ahead and push on it, it isn't doing anything, it's, it's caught in the bushing. Now what I'll keep doing is I'll actually unscrew the bolt by hand until it backs out of the bushing completely. Try to do this one hand here. A little difficult, but you get the gist. <laughs> Feels a little easier when you're holding it with both hands. Here, I'll set this down for a minute. Okay. It takes quite a few turns. Got some fine threads on it. Okay. So you can see I got it to where it backed out almost completely. Well, let's go ahead and twist it by hand now until it moves. Okay. Now you can see clear as day. See that little bushing? That has to be removed when you install these. Um, it could cause clearance issues or cap distortion or the bolt itself because of the head on it. Um, I'll show you, it, it might not even go down all the way. See that, that ridge on the top? So, alright. Now what I do after this is out, you can take them both out at once, whatever you want to do. Um, I'll leave one in for the video. But uh, I take the bolt, I put it in on the opposite side, like so. And I twist it just so it just barely gets caught in that bushing to where it holds itself in. Now this bench is wood. Um, it has a rubber matting underneath it. And then I put some towels down. But what I do is I just get it caught up in there to where it's just in that bushing. And I just smack the head of the bolt on the table. Bam. See? Comes right out. Now sometimes I may have like put the bolt too far in the bushing. So I'll just pull the bolt back a little bit and start untwisting it and then push it out now I can remove the bushing off the bolt Bam. there we go bolts out there we go see no more bushing clear as day looks great 
So now you just repeat the step with the other side, which I'll go ahead and do for the sake of the video, just to show you I can get the bolts all the way on. that fast. I already got it on the other side. A couple taps sometimes. Bam. Back it out. Push that through. Okay. And it's out. Yeah, both sides out. Pretty quick. Um, at least by hammering the bolt on the table reverse side, uh, you don't have a chance of really distorting the cap as if you were to put it in a vise or something and do it that way and hammer it. I just I didn't feel comfortable about doing that. So uh, then all you do, um, oh, you should use the ARP assembly lube that comes with it. It's on the back. Um, just I'm not putting them together right now, so I'm just putting the fasteners in the rod just so I can uh, hold the caps together in the right direction and uh, get back to them after I switch out all the bolts. So, all right. Well, I hope this helps someone else out. I, uh, I know I had to kind of figure this out on my own, kind of guess as to what the best method is without messing up that cap. So, uh, yep, that's the car it's going in. Nice LS2 heads cam around 500 horse. I got the short block out without even having to remove the hood or bumper. Pretty awesome. Alright guys, take care.